Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to do some packing together. I wanted to show you a travel capsule wardrobe and not only the pieces and outfits, but also how I plan my travel capsule wardrobes. I think that a capsule wardrobe is a perfect thing to do when you are on the go because it allows you to have like a mini closet with you as you travel. You don't have to have specific outfits for each day, but as your vacation goes along, you can kind of like fill out what you want to wear and work with the pieces that you packed because everything works well together. I actually just got back from a trip from Florida and I wanted to film this video after I got back so that that way I could share with you my packing experience, maybe some tips that I wish I knew before I packed, and also just some outfit tips for dressing for a hotter climate. So let's first talk about how I planned this travel capsule. <laughs> first thing that I do whenever I plan my capsule wardrobes, especially my travel ones, is I think about three things. So the destination, obviously, we're thinking of like a hot climate, activities, what do you plan to do? So on my trip we did shopping at outlets, we did a lot of theme parks, and we also went to the beach. So those are like the activities. And then lastly the weather, which is very important. It was pretty much just in the 90s like the entire time. In fact, Florida, I've never experienced it before, but like it doesn't really cool down that much at night. Like it stayed in the 80s. I can't remember when it even got to the 70s just honestly like even later at night it was still like in the low 80s maybe it got to the high 70s but I don't remember it ever doing that so it was just hot <laughs> the whole entire time and the 80s actually felt cool by the end of the trip and I was like oh it's getting a little chilly because it was 80 degrees and it had been like 90 95 the entire day so now that I have those three things kind of in mind I can start to shop my closet and really focus on what I want to include in my wardrobe so I actually put a lot of pieces from my summer capsule wardrobe video, which hopefully you've already watched. So I want to just share with you those basic items that I have from that capsule already that I've included in this like travel capsule. The first thing that I have, I just have everything kind of like laid out in my suitcase here, are those kind of like um, tank tops, which were actually bodysuits. And these are really good like basic pieces. I also have those linen trousers. These have, were like the best thing I packed, I'll be honest with you. I feel like when it's hot and the sun is out, you don't actually want to wear like shorts and like shorter clothes because you want that sun protection. Um, it honestly feels worst when I had like more skin out and more skin was exposed to the sun versus covering up a little bit more and I not only felt comfortable but I also just felt like my skin was being protected. So these linen pants were very handy and very practical and I really liked how they added kind of a sophisticated vibe but still definitely worked for the vacation vibes. And then the last thing that I have from the capsule that I've included, or I think two more things, First, I have this silk t-shirt or like button-up shirt. Now this particular piece, I wish that this was real silk. This is like a satin material from Abercrombie. It's like an imitation silk. And this I would wear more towards the evening time because if this was real silk, this would have been great for during the day because silk, linen, those are all like really breathable fabrics. But because this is basically polyester, this actually was not very breathable, even though it is in a light color. So I kind of saved this for like towards the evening time when I wanted to dress up and when it cooled down a little bit. And then the last piece from that cap, so I also have some accessories, but we'll get into those later, are just those 7-inch denim shorts, also from Abercrombie. These were actually very comfortable because I didn't size down or anything. They weren't tight in any way, and I really love these. I personally always look for shorts, just like as a quick, I don't know, tip, um, that like have that are long number one but just also cuff I feel like I do have like right now I pack the ones that I have on now these are a lot shorter these are like little short shorts but they still cuff they're not just like straight down I think that that is not very flattering on the bum and then when you bend down it's kind of like you're wearing a skirt you know you know what I mean so I like to have jeans that just kind of 
um, I'll cover or are tight around the butt because that way I feel comfortable when I'm bending down and they're a lot more flattering. So with this capsule wardrobe, of course, I put it in my Open Wardrobe app. So Open Wardrobe is an app that allows you to digitally organize your wardrobe. And I've been using it so far for my summer capsules. So for this one, I really wanted to use it so that, that way when I was getting ready on my trip, I could just look like at the outfits as I was picking out something to wear for the day and that saved a lot of time and it also just made it less stressful honestly to put together outfits when I was on my trip. So most of the items in this capsule was from my summer capsule wardrobe. So when I was adding my items in the app all I had to do was when you add a new item you don't have to like re-add the item. You can actually pick from existing wardrobes like they have an option for that so when I clicked pick from existing wardrobes I pretty much just added in all those pieces that were from my summer capsule I can even set some outfits like full outfit layouts to be in another capsule as well so this just helped me save time and it also being able to pick from existing wardrobes kind of gives me an idea of how much I wear an item or how popular an item is in my wardrobe and for my personal style if I'm always choosing an item from my pick from existing wardrobes, then that kind of sends a mental cue to me that this is something that I really like to wear, whether it's time for an investment in that particular style, or it's just something that I really enjoy wearing and it speaks to my personal style. Now with the Open Wardrobe app, you can actually also like track how many times you wear items and I personally have not used this yet only because I want to kind of do like an experiment where I track my wardrobe for like either two months or three months or just even a month and really just be very strict with it everything that I wear make sure I track it and I'll use this app but I think what's really cool about this feature is the fact that when you put in the price of your item how many times you wore it, it will calculate the cost per wear. So the cost per wear is basically what it costs to wear that item like each time you wear it. For example, you may have a shirt that was $50, but you wear it 10 times. So that way the cost per wear for that shirt is now $5. And it just shows you that some, even though you might invest in something, it might end up being worth it because the cost per wear is so low and you wear it all the time. So if you want to track how often you wear pieces, you can definitely use that feature. But like for me, just being able to pick from existing wardrobes and realize that I have pieces that always make it into other capsule wardrobes helped me realize or signal that something has a low cost for wear or it's something that I really enjoy wearing. So now that I had in all my existing wardrobe pieces from my summer one, I decided to add in some other pieces as well. I had a denim jacket that honestly I only wore the denim jacket on the plane ride um, because it was freezing on the plane but like hot everywhere else even when I got back home. There's like a heat wave right now so it was hot. Um, so I kind of only wore the denim, ja denim jacket only when I was traveling. I think I might have put it on one night when we went into like an air-conditioned place. But it always is good to have some type of third layer. Because even if it's hot in the climate that you're going, it's not hot inside. They keep it like freezing in there. And you want to make sure you just have something to keep you warm. And then I added some more summery pieces. So I did purchase all these pieces new for the vacation. This was my first vacation in a while and um, I just felt like, well, I wanted some like fun vacation pieces to add to my wardrobe. Usually I would have just shopped in my closet and picked out some things, but I, there was a, I was kind of lacking in the vacation like outfit or clothing area. So a few things that I picked up was first this swimsuit from Sienna Co. You've already seen it a few times. I definitely saw it if you follow me on Instagram. And it's just a cute little swimsuit that comes with a skirt and then it comes with a wrap top. I actually just ordered the bustier, I guess is how you say it, top. Um, I'm going to put it up on the screen. I'm really excited for that to come in. I did actually order it like a while ago in an extra small but it was too tight. So I feel like if you are a like C cup or larger then you're gonna want to size up because I just I didn't know I felt like there wasn't that many that much space um, but then I have this wrap top so this is what I actually brought on the vacation and I love this little swimsuit I did have another one that I packed with me my Nautica one but I didn't end up wearing it because I just wore this one all the times we went swimming and like to the beach and stuff because I loved how it looked 
and then some other like summer stuff that I bought. I think it's just like three more things. Uh, the first thing, actually, I'll just do this first, were these white shorts. These are from Abercrombie & Fitch. These are not the 7 inch. I actually don't know which length these are. I'll have it linked below, but I like this length. I don't think that it is too long. And once again, just like those denim shorts, these are, they don't just go straight down in the back. They actually are kind of fitted here in the bum area, like where the pockets are. And they're a lot more comfortable to wear and a lot more flattering too. And I did like this length. I got these in a 24 and they're a high rise. Oh, okay. They have the length on there. They are a four inch. So a little shorter than the seven inch, but I did like the length of these. Um, for Disney, we like did family matching outfits and uh, my mom, my sister and I wore like white shorts. So I had to pick up a pair, um, but I liked wearing these. These were nice and they worked with other outfits as well. And then I got this beautiful like crochet style dress from Express. I had a like return to make and so I saw this in store and I thought this would have been perfect for the vacation. What I like about this particular dress is the fact that it actually has a lining on the inside so it looks like it should just be a swimsuit cover up like one of those crochet swimsuit cover ups. But actually, it can be worn as a dress because of the lining. I just think that it's the perfect way to take like the beach vibes and make it more appropriate for like going out or like an evening out or even like during the day I could wear this. So this, I think this comes in other colors as well, but I really thought the black was very pretty. And uh, let's see, what size did I get this in? I got this in an extra small and I like the way it fit. I mean, I think I could have went a size down, but I felt like that would have been like a little too tight. And I also like how these straps as well, they are like um, adjustable. So they were good if you're like on the shorter side like me. I'm 4'10". And then the last thing that I got for the summertime kind of vacation vibes was this ribbed dress. This is again something that I would probably wear um, towards the evening because it is not a breathable fabric. So as it cools down, I would wear this. I did wear this actually one night. I love the way Olive looks with straw and brown. And you'll see that I have all those types of accessories included in this capsule. So I really loved this dress. And I just liked how comfortable it was. It definitely had like those chill but still put together vibes. And the last thing was not something new. But I forgot to mention it. It's somewhere in this suitcase. And it is just this oversized like linen blend cotton t-shirt. I actually wore this as a swimsuit cover-up and I'm so glad I brought it especially the day we went to the pool. I was in and out of the pool like the whole time so my sunscreen was you know slowly wearing off and I felt like being able to just completely cover my arms and cover myself in something that was a cool material and in white was way better than like just having my arms exposed after getting out of the pool. So this was like a really nice beach cover up. I think that this would look really nice with the linen pants as well, like with a cute little tube top. Or even if you want, you could have wore this with the shorts for like a nice smart practical look. Now let's talk about the accessories before we get into the outfits. So for my accessories, of course I had to have some straw accessories. I have this little hat that I absolutely love. This came in handy. Now this hat doesn't have that much sun protection honestly, but it is better than not wearing a hat. I will say that like even though it's not like amazing sun protection, I felt good wearing the hat instead of like not wearing a hat at all especially on those sunny days we were on the beach but just make sure you wear sunscreen on your face like don't depend on this style hat to help you and I loved how little it was too uh, originally I wanted like a big straw hat like something dramatic but this was like a lot more practical honestly to take on and off and to carry with me to the beach and then I also have this straw little bag from H&M. Um, I like how it zippers or <laughs> it zips up. And that's because I just feel like it's a lot more secure. I have another straw bag that I was originally going to take. But I wanted something that when I was traveling, I just like my stuff wouldn't easily fall out or have easy access to. So I like that this had a zipper. And I did love the shape of this too. Like it looks like a regular bag kind of style. So I really liked that. And then my other two bags that I've included in the capsule are first my little Teddy Blake bag. 
and I did take this along with me. I'm so glad I brought this. I felt like it really helped finish off my outfits and it went with everything. I do have a discount with Teddy Blake so I'll link it below and um, I recommend watching my summer outfit ideas video because I did more of an in-depth review of Teddy Blake's uh, purses but I'm glad I did end up bringing this and it came in handy when I kind of wanted a more dressed up look and I didn't want to wear my straw bag and then lastly I had a crossbody bag so this was pretty much my bag for Disney and for theme parks amusement parks something easy something that zipped obviously that I could just either like actually put on my waist or just throw over my shoulders and it was very practical I think next time I would want something even bigger than this honestly this is a pretty good size you could fit like a mini water bottle in here but if you want more, I just recommend doing like a book bag. I really like this brand. Um, it's called Herschel, I think is how you say it. I have a few of their like canvas style, like casual bags. And I really like the quality of their stuff and also just the style of it as well. Then I had some other accessories. I had my sunglasses. These I got from Express and I love the way these look. I'm pretty sure they're a little dirty now because they're cloudy as I put them on. Um, but I loved having these with me and I feel like they had such a chic vibe to finish off my outfits. And then I also had a pair of like slide shoes. Again, these were one of my best, these were new and these were one of my best purchases for this trip. They came in handy. They were perfect for the pool, for the beach, for when we went outlet shopping because they're so easy to slip on and off. When I was trying on shoes in the different stores, I was easily able to do it. And I love the color palette. It just worked perfectly with the wardrobe. I also included some round sandals and then some tennis shoes. So just like a clear disclaimer, I packed my Keds originally and after I think one day or no, two days of Disney like back to back, my feet were killing me. And I ended up buying some Adidas like sneaker tennis shoes and I'm so mad at myself for just like not packing or at least wearing on the plane ride my just Nikes. So I recommend if you're doing a lot of walking, you want a shoe that has arch support. Just go with a regular running shoe. My all white Nikes look sleek and chic, but they still are very comfortable. And I just wish I bought them, brought them with me because I ended up buying tennis shoes on the trip. Like it was that bad. So just recommend having like just regular walking shoes when you're doing a lot of walking. The Keds are nice, but I just feel like because we, we end up going to like all four Disney parks, it was kind of a lot to walk in the Keds for all those days. I also have one more hat and that is this one. This one I wore on the plane ride. It's just like this baseball cap hat. I really liked putting this on. This definitely added a more casual vibe to my outfits and I loved it. And this is from ASOS. Um, I like what it says on there. It's just like the brand, my accessories. Uh, from London and again everything just flows together so I don't think I mentioned it but my color palette for this capsule was pretty much just neutrals with a pop of that green color it's so important with a small capsule wardrobe to have a good cohesive color palette because you're working with such a small amount of items you want to make sure everything goes well together and that way you're able to create as much outfits as you want now I did pack a few jewelry pieces I was really very minimal with the jewelry this time around. I didn't pack that much. I don't like to pack a lot of jewelry when I travel. So the only thing that I brought were these little hoops from Perry Foya. These were like my everyday hoops. I think at Disney I ended up getting like a souvenir of like some Mickey Mouse studs or something. But these were the earrings that I brought with me. And then I also have an ankle bracelet. Um, this one was from Pretty Little Thing and it was really nice. I had a necklace from ASOS that I bought from this trip and it broke like three days in. So I was like disappointed. That's why I stick to my Ana Luisa, my Perry Foya, and my good quality stuff. But this one from Pretty Little Thing, the ankle bracelet lasted pretty long. I love wearing ankle bracelets lately. I feel like they're just like a nice attention to detail, especially to summer outfits. I also had included a bracelet, this one. Is this called the Lola bracelet? I don't know the exact name. I'll have it like in the description box. But this one I got from Ana Luisa. And I pretty much wore this almost every day too. And then lastly, I just had my Margaret Coin necklace. Again, I had another necklace, but that 
didn't make it. Um, so I really loved this one, my Margaret Coin necklace. I liked the, you've seen this like a hundred times, but you know, the like kind of crinkly goat effect. I thought it worked really well with the effortless vibes of the capsule. And then I had stored everything in my little jewelry case. I got this from Amazon and I really liked how like how small it is it was able to fit in there and you're you're supposed to like hang your necklaces and stuff up there so that that way it doesn't get tangled so it's quite handy um i'll i'll link this below too i guess okay now let's talk about the outfit so i have all the outfits saved here on my um open wardrobe app and i'm gonna go ahead and pull them up so you can see how i styled them so i did this a little differently i kind of made the outfits based off like occasions or activities that you would be doing on the trip i just felt like that was the most realistic to do so the first outfit is for a theme park so like an amusement park or something like that i have my running shoes that crossbody bag something practical i have worn my um denim shorts the like black tank top and then the ball cap hat if it was hot sunny day this is very important to have when i didn't have it on what i did is i strapped it to my bag so when i didn't want to wear it or i was going on like a roller coaster i could just easily strap it on my bag and it was still usable in the outfit another outfit idea i had was a brunch or a shopping day so this is actually the outfit i wore when we went to the outlets it was the linen pants the um, white tank top and then I added my Teddy Blick bag in those slide on shoes. I already mentioned that the slide on shoes were great because when I was trying on tennis shoes <laughs> to find because the kids didn't work out um, it was just so easy to slip on and off and because we were going in and out of stores I felt like pants were a lot more appropriate than shorts because it was the air conditioning and it was cold in the stores. My next outfit was for my beach day. I ended up wearing this outfit the two times that we went swimming and I loved it. So I had on the swimsuit and I did actually wear it the way that it's pictured here with the high neck in the front. You could have worn it with the v-neck in the front if you wanted to. I had my straw hat, my straw bag, and also my little slide on shoes. And of course that like white overlay or like swimsuit cover up with the oversized shirt so this was my favorite beach pool outfit and i probably will wear this over and over and over again now i have some outfits with the dresses so the first outfit i mentioned that i wore when we went out one night and it was just the olive shirt or olive dress from pretty little thing i wore it with my teddy blake bag again and i think originally i wanted to wear it as a clutch but we ended up going to the city so actually wearing the bag as a crossbody was a lot more practical so that's why i love that bag so much you can wear it so many different ways and then to keep the outfit a lot more casual i actually wore it with those slip-on sandals i felt like those slip-on sandals just helped make all the outfits really like low-key i don't know and i liked how it looked with the dress the next outfit was with the black crochet dress. Again, this is something that I would have either wore um, at night or you can even do like an outfit for, I don't know, like during the day. Uh, this is a good outfit for like a day at the beach and then this is something that you put on towards the evening. I had the black crochet dress from Express. I added the brown sandals because I just thought that they looked a lot more dressy. Like the dress was already kind of casual so I wanted something that was a little bit more dressy. I have my straw bag. I thought that the straw and the um, kind of crochet detail went well together and then I added the Margaret coin necklace again. I think that even though I'm working with on neutrals it was definitely the textures and the silhouettes of these pieces that helped bring some personality and some life into this capsule. So even if you're working with all neutrals or a very simple color palette, you can still let the textures and silhouettes of your clothing pieces add a little bit of your personal style. And I feel like that outfit had a lot of texture going on. And then my last outfit was kind of just like another good kind of all day type of vacation vibes. Um, something that I would wear maybe on a cooler day because I am wearing that satin silk imitation top. I mean, it was cool, but it just was not as cool as like real silk would be. 
I have my straw hat. I wore those white shorts and then I have my brown sandals again. I like how this look is all white and then I just have some pops of browns and golds in my accessories. And of course, I think that my Teddy Blake bag or my straw bag would have worked for this outfit. It really depended on how I felt that day and that's another thing which is nice. These outfits can definitely change in variations, even with the pieces I already have. If I wanted to make that last look a little bit more casual, I could have worn my sneakers and then added the hat and maybe like the crossbody um, Teddy Blake bag instead. So I'm still able to have, even with these outfits kind of planned, I'm still able to have a little bit of just flexibility as I put my outfits together for the vacation. I want to thank you so much for staying all the way to the end of today's video. Feel free to download the Open Wardrobe app. Remember, you have access to my entire travel capsule wardrobe so you can see the pieces, links to the available clothing items, and also see all the outfits that I've talked about today. You can also grant access for me to have in a look into your own wardrobes so that, that way I can be your personal style buddy and add some like outfit ideas or items that I think would work well into the capsule. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video and thanks again for watching. Bye!